All right, so moving right along. Today we're gonna go outside to the park, and then we're gonna go outside yet again to the forest because I tested it out real quick and Meadow Rio has nothing to say yet again. What a shock. <laughs> I'm really expecting him to say something at some point, but possibly there'll be nothing else for the entire game because that also wouldn't surprise me. I'm lazy. Oh, I'm not in the mood today. He just seems like Napoleon Dynamite to me. <laughs> All right, so we'll just have the spam clicking. Oh, oh, it's Mystica, hello. Hi, Ryo. Looks like you're still in one piece. Man, I'm gonna need some shades if you keep appearing so brightly like that. What? Okay, Ryo. Did he learn this from the playa? The playa said I need to wear shades to impress some hot magic anime chick. Don't you like my special entrance? Not if I go blind. Oh, stop whining. He's so whiny. <laughs> I'll see what I can do then. <laughs> All right. Now then, I was curious. About what? Do you like magical <laughs> girls? <laughs> um. What? Whoever could you be talking about? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most awkward Actually, I do have a fetish for those magical girl animes. Uh I read magical girl manga all the time. I thought we didn't read it all the time. We read like Prince Tail twice. <laughs> we read two episodes of that and then that was it. What about a real one? <laughs> I can't even <laughs> read it like straight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is she really coming on to us? What about a real one? They're real and they're fantastic. Oh my God. What? Just kidding. No, you're not. Oh man. What was that? Jeez. Don't give me a heart attack like that. What is going on? <laughs> so then, the oh thought of us being together made your heart beat faster? <laughs> These conversations just take such odd twists and turns. It's just unpredictable. I also feel like they're nine. Mystica! I have someone else I like. Oh my god, he's like so freaking insulted. <laughs> really? <laughs> Could you tell me then? Nope. Please. Never. Why is he so fucking pissed about this? Come on, she already knows it's Rena. She knows. She told us before, didn't she? No, it wasn't. I'm just, oh, whatever. I'm getting confused with the girls. Because <laughs> I think there's like three identities in one, but I'm not sure yet. Why not? It's a secret. Oh my God, are you in freaking grade school? Come on, Rio, tell me. <sighs> If you're trying to pester me to stop me from going to the forest, it's not going to work. Oh. What? What? Just because you're a real ma magical girl doesn't mean you get to freely poke into other people's lives. <laughs> you're <laughs> right, but... What happened to the I wish I wasn't a magical girl words I have been hearing from you? This is starting to bother me, so I turn blue. Yeah, what the heck just happened? <laughs> Somehow, this bothers me to no end. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Mystica, you are to act with dignity and honor as a magical girl. What? Using your position as a magical girl, a heroine for petty gains, is not fitting for you. I am picturing, like, the blueberry guy <laughs> from freaking Willy Wonka right now. What is going on? He's just having a freaking rage. Modeling your image as a magical girl is like... <laughs> what? Okay, I'm sorry. I cannot read the rest of this. What the hell is going on? You require money to live. <laughs> Modeling your image as a magical girl is acceptable as you require money to live. So you can also whore yourself out for cash as well. That's acceptable. But this behavior <laughs> just witnessed is unacceptable. <laughs> unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, selling your body for money is acceptable because she's a magical girl who needs money. Um, <laughs> but, you know, inquiring about schoolboy crushes, that's unacceptable. Okay. Okay, Ryo, sure. It, he's crazy. Wait, what the heck did I just rant about? <laughs> Was that meta, Ryo? Like, Was it like the freaking us? prince from the dreams he's having <laughs> who's surrounded by magical people all the time? I have no idea what is going on. If you're going to talk like that, then stop coming to forest and save Claire already. 
All right, so it definitely... Wait, she knows about Claire then. So, so it's, it's Rena. definitely Rena. It's Rena. I never want to see your face here again, Rio. Oh, no. Now he pissed her off. Please don't come... Please don't come here ever again. No, wait. It wasn't me. Bash. It was the blue guy. Mystica! The blue guy. Oh, man. Freaking, like, Avatar just, like, came out for no reason. <laughs> now I've done it. Now i done it? Excuse me. It was Papa Smurf, obviously. <laughs> Ew, Papa Smurf is so scary. <laughs> I'm trying to remember his voice. But I don't think I'd be able to pull it off. I don't even know what it sounds like anymore. I haven't seen that in years. Me neither. Miska disappeared in a flash of light, and I can't find her anymore. Well, we can just fight monsters, then. Oh, oh. Big sister, you're tired, aren't you? Says a little boy, pulling at my hand. No, no, I'm all right. I can... I I think this is you that's supposed to be reading this. It's from a sister's perspective. <laughs> I protest as he pulls me towards to the couch. <laughs> of course. Don't be shy, big sister. If you don't rest, you'll stress yourself too much. Take a seat on the couch. The little boy takes both of my hands and pulls me again. All right. I'm too tired to argue. I'll take a seat. I slowly sit on the couch, allowing myself to relax in the soft cushions. Dinner is almost ready. I just have to sit at the table. Dinner is almost ready. Could one of you girls put out the fire? Okay, I'll put it out, a little girl calls back. She runs inside and holds up a wand to the fire. With a quick wave, she procures water from the air to douse the fire. Steam bursts out from the fireplace, and another wave of her wand blows the steam up the chimney. Well, it's about time dinner was ready, another girl says, walking into the room. The boy looks at her sternly. What? Oh, right. I'll go quickly wash up while you sit at the table. Oh, the it's a girl. girl. Oh, my God. Whatever. Uh, I'm coming to Calls. <laughs> Calls the other girl. They both scamper upstairs. Big sister works hard all the time. I am also going to work hard, too. Mm. <laughs> Big sister, please sit over here at the head of the table here. What the hell is going on now? Who All right, I'll take my seat. I walk over to the chair and sit down. Cuz now these are different characters entirely. Uh... I don't know if we had these ones yet, but I mean, I know we had the prince. We also have some magical researchers. Um now yeah. we have these like children. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I'll bring the food. Just wait here. I made turkey and rice as well as a surprise dessert. Oh my god, this is getting so old. Why, thank you. But why turkey today? All right, girls, come down. Oh, it's another... Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> I can't even tell. All right, girls, come down with a special surprise. Blah, blah, blah. What does he mean Is it her birthday? Surprise? All right. <laughs> Both girls call as they emerge from the hallway <laughs> holding a tiara in their hands. It doesn't even tiara. matter. To celebrate your graduation from the Intermediate League... All three children speak in unison. We're, We're treating, treating you like, like a, a princess, princess for a day. day. The two girls kneel down on one knee and hold up the tiara towards me. I'm a female, by the way. Okay, cool. <laughs> we lost track of it. You three are so... The two little girls place the tiara... Oh, a... <laughs> <laughs> the two little girls place the tiara on my head for a moment. I'm speechless. But how did you three know I wanted this? What? Okay. You're always reading those fairy tales about princes and princesses. And you always look so happy when you read them. And you're already our princess. You're strong and nice and pretty. I touch the tiara on my head gingerly. It's real. Come here, you three. I open my arms and they throw themselves into my arms. <laughs> I hold them all close in a warm embrace. I hate how it keeps repeating words in the same sentence. Uh-huh. Oh. This is you. Uh -huh. You've done so much for us. We want to do something for you too, big sis. Oh my god, this is so boring. We are giving you some of our strength too. Give me your strength. Okay. It's a spirit I'll bomb. Give my strength. Everyone, give me your strength and I'll heal the planet. Uh -huh. No, I'll defeat Cell with the death of the humans on Earth. If only that would happen to spice things up. Suddenly, Cell just lands down and blasts him all to hell. And that's the end of it. Oh, good look. It went white. He did blast I actually just, just skipped through the whole thing, but then it just ended there. Okay. My head is really starting to freaking hurt. Mine too, Rio. Mine too. Uh, I want to find out what's happening. I mean, how many scenes are we possibly going to have with this? Oh, oh no. Why aren't we finding any monsters? Maybe they don't really come out at night after all. <laughs> 
And the champion is once again the star of the night sky. I'm just gonna read it no matter what. A roaring applause erupts from the Coliseum stands. They're all cheering for me. This isn't a new feeling. I am the champion again. Oh, I'm so fucking wonderful. <laughs> Truthfully, I'm only champion because I love using magic. It fills me with life. Magic used for fighting is the most intense pleasure you can ever get, so I can put my feelings into this art and express myself. I've always enjoyed figuring out new and in innovative ways to use magic. I like surprising people. Making something new is always exciting for me. I also like seeing other people make new magic as well. Yes, you're so fantastic. Oh my god. A lot of challengers just don't even stand a chance against me. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. I have had enough of this. <sighs> whatever. Wait, what's the last part? No, whatever. I thought he had like a... Oh, okay, look, a there, monster. There are monsters. Thank god it's not... A, whatever. Text wall. Alright, so we can still beat them rather easily. I know it says they're going to get tougher, but it's really not too bad yet. Oh, uh, this is it, right? No. Oh, it's a new one. Star of the Night Sky. I thought of that name when I was looking out the window. Um, that's the warrior that we were talking about. A passing stranger explained it. The stars shine brightly at night because there are no other lights around. Stars only stand that way and there's no other light. Yeah. Amazing. Being a champion all the time really has its drawbacks. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> what a problem. Celebrity problems, right? <laughs> I guess Star of the Night Sky is going to go to celebrity rehab. It's too much to put up with, isn't it? I mean, if you guys want, you can pause it and read it. I'll just like show it for a short bit, but I'm really not feeling like reading this anymore. Like, I could kind of follow this a little bit before when it was about like the prince and that. Like, I thought it was going to be all one cohesive story, but just random stuff. Like, different characters, even. All right, that was a good workout. Transformation magic, flying magic with offensive magic. It's so tiring. I'm happy though. This is the first time I use flying magic in the mix. I don't think I'll be using all of them in battle just yet though. Besides, I think I'll keep this a secret until I need it. I look around at my training room in my basement. It's very cold and quiet. It's similar to my room with all my piles of magical equipment lying around. The stone walls and the magic powered lights, they all seem so silent. The hum of the magic lights and the magical podium is the only thing I can hear. It kind of feels like I have my own little world here, free from distractions. I really enjoy my time alone, but it's so lonely. I don't have anyone I can be close to. I think my status as arena champion makes it difficult for people to approach me. Is this the same person complaining again? I don't know, but the star of the night sky said they wanted a friend at the end, and now this person is feeling lonely if it's the same person. So... I see two pieces of ice-based magical components on the floor. Hmm, what happens if I attach multiple ice magical modules at together on a high capacity wand maybe a staff i don't know does it really matter what does this have to do with the rest of the game i have no idea this is so boring if i attach many of them into the passive latent slots onto the staff I, what i might be able to prevent overheating is this relevant for later on when i'm casting spells am i gonna have to know this or not i think it's just filler but i don't really know oh yeah that's fantastic that had no. It's hurting that me. That wasn't even character development. She's like, oh, I could use the staff. Oh, the staff, the staff. I'm still lonely, by the way. <laughs> uh, nothing but trees. Nothing but snakes. Nothing but bugs. I, I mean, I guess this is a bad idea. I mean, it's just endless. Explore. 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 You can just go on forever. I do like how it says. Whoa! Whoa! What What's is that? this? Okay, that's new. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to stop too. Um, this looks like the remains of a mansion. It looks like no one has been living in it for ages. Suddenly, this turns into Resident Evil. Hmm. I see a stone dial here. Turn north. Uh oh. Uh... Save. <laughs> um. Uh. What? Are we supposed to know of something based on those things we've been reading or supposed to be reading? I didn't hear of any directions. So it's except about the stars. Turn north. North. Well, it's turn north already, so I don't think that would matter. Um. What do you think? Hmm. Well, we'll go with um. The sun rises in the east, so east. Uh oh. Oh no! Are they each going to give us a new first seed? Oh. 
Looking at that matchups for this loom <sighs> looking at the matchups for the single elimination tournament, I see that I'm facing off against the same mage that I fought first in the last tournament. I'm sitting in the waiting room for the combatants. No one seems to want to speak to me because you're a loser, and you keep on thinking of how great you are. No one wants to. Uh, it could be a different person, for all I know. I don't. I don't care. <sighs> she has the potential to be skilled, but she doesn't change her style. She won't be able to defeat me. Yes, this is fantastic. Time to take on the last seated entry. That was quick, actually. And we're back here. What? No, I want to go back to the mansion. Are we going east now? I don't know, are we? Oh. oh. Okay. Well, we're back to the mansion. Okay. Uh, it's turned east. So, now a new direction? West? West? Should I just try? Oh my god, we're gonna get one of these each time now? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's very isolated, thick cracks. Two little girls are sparring with each other. Alright. She's here, she's here. And there's a little boy and the last seed mage come out of the door. The last okay. seed's a mage? I thought that was a... I don't know what that means, but I guess it's a mage's name. I'm not uh, that famous, am I? And I'm also not sure how it's supposed to go chronologically. I am very confused. I don't know. If anyone else has been following this and it makes more <laughs> sense to them, please feel free to explain. <laughs> but this just seems like a bunch of nonsense to me. Could just be me, though, but... Um, oh, wait, Soriyama. So is it this house exactly that they're talking about when he said that the, he saw a house in the middle of a field and he went to go see the last seed mage, which one of them is the champion and one of the one is he keeps beating, but we know the one that is, keeps being beat is a female. So maybe that's the big sister? Um, so hold on a second. Soriyama used to be a magical kingdom at some point? Or is this just fantasy? Um, I guess it used to be. But Y2K it, killed it. it. It's also set in the real world, but at the same time, it was magical at some point, but it's no longer. Well, and no one remembers that? There's Mystica. Well, there's Mystica, but everyone else is, doesn't believe it. No one else is like, oh, yeah, it's magical. They're just like, oh, yeah, it's just... Well, you stunt. know, all of those parents died in Y2K, so they have nothing... So like, no one remembers history. that they yeah. used to be ruled by a, a king and queen and they knew magic. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, that's realistic. And no one in the rest of the world knew about this? I don't know. Because there are foreigners here now. Did the Japanese take it over or something? <laughs> now they don't know magic anymore? They invaded with their anime culture and now everyone's forgotten magic because they're too busy reading freaking manga. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened, I guess. I don't even know. No, they're eating again. Why, why are they eating in like every scene? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. Whatever. So, I mean, that was a little bit of backstory, which may lend itself to the Time game. Time to go south. But I've been not paying attention to this for so long, I'm not even sure if the rest of it really connected or not. Um, all right. So, another scene. No way she lost to a dirty trick like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Mario McFly, Biff, what the hell's that? <laughs> I stand outside the arena trying to figure out what happened. She seemed to be doing well, but her wand misfired and it cost her the match. Oh well, what a shame. Oh, it must have been sabotage, of course, yeah. It's like blaming the controller. Her wand. Her <laughs> wand! Uh, okay. Okay, that's nice. Why would people do such a thing? It's just a tournament after all. Well, people take competition seriously. Have you never noticed that before? Maybe if there was no magic in this world, then everything would be better. So maybe the prince like somehow banished magic? I guess that's a possibility. He just wished it away, of course. <laughs> as this realization sinks in, some people with weapons as unique as mine approach me. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world where you need to be cruel and dishonest to survive. We need your help to change it. Come with us. Okay. It was then that I found my answer. My head is starting to hurt. Uh, should I explore further? Well, we can point it back north again. I guess we should go north. Well, it's our last chance to figure it out. I mean, I guess this just <gasps> does nothing. Oh. Is there a certain order? So north was good. Because we didn't get a scene? Or is the other one good because we got a scene? South? Now it's not... What? 
Oh, oh. we're sleeping in the middle of the forest. Yes. We just got kicked out. Oh. All right. So, <laughs> uh, whatever. I guess we'll just end it there because I don't know what to th make of that. If we should go back or just move on from that. I don't know if that was going to amount to anything or not. I'm so confused. <laughs> well, anyway, hopefully we'll figure out more next time. Until then, see you later. Bye.